It's interesting. I've been reading this uh, catalog from a show I was in just earlier this year at the Cameron Art Museum in Wilmington, North Carolina. And in the catalog, there's a quotation from Frida Kahlo I love, and it said, I don't know, I just have to paint. You know, and it's, it's that sort of thing. I didn't have a romantic idea about being an artist, but I just always felt like that was the most difference I could make or change in the world I could make, even as a little child holding a pencil and making a line across a piece of paper. It was kind of like that was uh, making a shift in the world. It never seemed like a career. You know, it was just something I do. It didn't seem like something calculated in a way. It's just me. Throughout the, the many years of my work, I think color would be one of the most important elements that keeps me going and interested in exploring. It sounds so um, general, though, to say color. It has to do with energy in the painting, which comes through form and color and light, I think. And there was a particular point in my um, development as a younger painter where I, I, I remember it, where I suddenly was able to paint light into the painting. And it wasn't an illustration of light, it wasn't a beam of light in a representational painting, it was literally light coming through from the paint that seemed to emanate from the surface of the painting. When I paint, I'm very interested in a kind of um, psychic space, I think, that you walk in, walk within, in the material of the painting and also in the perception of the space of the painting. I am, after all, mostly a painter. I do find great joy in these other materials and they all add up to more knowledge for the painting. But I would say that it's interesting for me to have a kind of exploration within the space of the painting. There's a an interest I've had since childhood in collecting things like all kids do, you know, little treasures, but I was especially interested in fossils and rocks. And I think you'll see that as an influence, both with the sculpture pieces that are in the show and also with the monoprints. This idea I started having about making sculpture, boy, it was about 20 years ago. And I think it's because the forms that I was working with in my painting needed a sort of engagement with something even more tactile. The process, it's interesting, I think as, as an artist, probably a lot of people have this experience. When you're young and starting out, you sort of keep experimenting and exploring different materials and different approaches, different subject matter. and at first it may seem like you are not the same artist from show to show, but when you have a practice that goes on for 40 years, you can back up and take the bird's eye view and see that each, each exploration really does connect to that, that artist's practice and idea and evolution of a way of exploring things that do connect even if they don't at first look like each other. So this show is exciting because I get to put a lot of ideas together that haven't been shown. Not everyone knows I've been experimenting with monoprinting and sculpture in clay and bronze. So it's been a chance to put forward work that people are not as familiar with. Being invited to participate with with Jesse and Poppy and the whole team of the Art League has been a kind of lovely um, blooming into this, this very rich period of my work. So I'm thrilled. Thank you. <laughs>